Hi everybody, it's Carla. If I'm not mistaken, last year I made a video about uh, my collection of teas and I love to drink hot tea. Um, so does my son, uh, my husband does occasionally, but mainly me. So I was wanting to show you uh, what I have done. Recently I have started trying to minimalize around my house, uh, donate a lot of items, tried to sell some items. Uh, gave away some items and just uh, trash some things. I'm trying to make my space um, more livable, more enjoyable. And I looked at my little tea closet here that I had uh, turned into a um, tea closet out of an old aquarium. And I just had boxes and boxes of uh, tea bags. And I wasn't working my way through them the way I wanted to. And so I had also been reading about uh, tea and minimalizing your life and um, a lot of people use le uh, the loose leaf teas like what I have in these jars right here and I'm repurposing glass jars too uh, instead of throwing them out I'm cleaning them up taking the label off and reusing them for foodstuffs so um, and craft ideas but today's is about tea so what I ended up doing I was reading and also watching YouTube videos and uh, learned that a lot of the tea bags, the actual pouches that the tea leaves are put into, uh, contain plastic. And they're fine as long as they're just in the box, but when you put your hot tea or hot water into your tea, then they leach into your tea. And I don't want to add more chemicals from the uh, you know manufactured environment into myself if I can help it. So what I ended up doing was making my own tea spice blends. And this um, one with the green lid are the different kinds of uh, black teas that I had. And I mixed them together. And some have a little other flavor added to it. But mostly it's just the black tea itself. Uh, different uh, Bigelow, uh, Twinings, just different brands that I had. And then this one is more of a citrus and spice blend. It was the lemons, the oranges, the um, Christmas spice and they both are very aromatic and they're a delight when you open the jar and they taste even better when you use them. And I just use one teaspoon per cup and what I do is I actually put um, a coffee filter into the uh, mug that I'm using and I put the the, um, I get the ones that are unbleached. They're just made of paper. They're not any kind of uh, plastic in those. And I just rubber band it around the edge of my cup and leave a little reservoir in there for the tea to fit into. And then I just pour my um, hot water over it and it steeps in there. I cover it and it steeps three to five minutes. And then I have a delicious cup of tea. And then when I actually go to drink it, I will use this little uh, fine mesh, um, which it was actually in the coffee department at Walmart, uh, hanging on a strip. And it's two or three dollars, but I use that to uh, pour my tea into another cup, which uh, takes out any of the leaves that might have gotten into the tea itself. So I don't have any, you know, aftertaste at the bottom or feel leaves as I'm getting to the end of my cup of tea. So I just wanted to show you this and maybe give you an idea. If you have a tea closet and you're having a hard time working your way through it because you're just drinking one here and there or one at a time, to maybe open up the packets, mix them together in your own spice blend, and you have beautiful loose leaf tea. Plus, I didn't want to buy any loose leaf tea until I did use up what I already had. So the best way I could do that was to open up my um, tea bags myself and blend it myself and then after all these teas are gone then uh, hopefully Lord willing I'll be able to buy some loose leaf tea and explore some different flavors that I haven't tried before so I hope you like this and uh, yeah it's just an idea you might not want to go to all the bother of that but I just wanted to uh, clear out space and also uh, minimize my exposure to things like uh, petroleum-based plastic products, which I would have never even thought were in those little uh, flow-through tea bags. And they might not be in all of them, but they are in most of them. 
So I hope you like this little video, and thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one that's kind enough to watch, and especially appreciate your comments. Talk to you later. Bye.